So many questions swirling around the bones found at Frontier Park. Many people are left wondering who this person was. Tonight, Kristen Nielsen checks in with the team working to identify the bones. And then I saw that Back on April 6th, volunteers participating in a community cleanup event stumbled across the first sign of human remains in Cascade Creek at Frontier Park, a human skull. And that's just the beginning of this bizarre story. We were called in the case uh, because of our forensic anthropology expertise. Members of the forensic team found more bones in the creek after the initial find. Then, someone walking their dog stumbled across even more bones, similar to the ones shown here. With the second scene, we were able to find one of the hip bones, the oscoxa. So we're able to do pretty much our whole range of analyses at this point, which is going to be much more useful for creating that biological profile. A biological profile will give us demographics such as the age, build, and sex of the person the remains belong to. Luckily, some of the bones found, like the skull, femur, and hip bone, are vital to this process. From there, police will compare those findings to any local missing persons cases. If the police have some information they think who it might be, we might compare it through uh, dental records. Um, these days, a, a common way, if, if we don't have dental records, is to submit it for DNA. And I know the chief has talked about that. With so many questions still in the air, we're told we could start getting answers in a matter of weeks. We're working to get it done within the next couple weeks at most. Um, so we have all, a lot of our grad students and our faculty are all working together to get it done as soon as possible. Until then, the story behind who this person once was remains a mystery. Kristen Nielsen, Jet 24 Action News.